Welcome back everybody to another session on what we can do to help out that body, to help out that golf game. Now today we're going to be looking at the position that you get to or that you want to get to to help us get a more consistent swing and pick up some power. So there's a few things we need to look at. One, do the lower traps activate? So basically the lower trap is going to be down and through the back they're going to be responsible for allowing those hands to actually lift. We need to be looking at the lats, which extend all down through the back, make up the majority of that side. If they're tight, again, that function to lift and get that shoulder plane down are really going to be limited. Last but not least, we're going to look at the external rotation of each arm. And are we getting here with our flexibility? Or are we back past that spine angle? So that as we get to the top, do we have that flying elbow or where are we? So let's get started on fixing those. With the traps, we're gonna get into that golf posture. We're gonna brace with the midsection the best we can, arms straight out in front. And we're gonna lift up as high as we can go, coming back down, back up. Thumbs up towards the ceiling, okay? So we're in through here, nice and high. We're gonna switch variations after we do 10 of those and go over to a Y. This works that muscle a little bit differently. Again, our goal is to activate that muscle because a lot of you, due to sitting in that posture, we shut these down, we're not working as well as what we want to. It makes that position extremely difficult. For the next, for those lats, we're gonna do a variation of a twisted prayer. If you're on the range, you can use a golf cart, golf club, but what we wanna do is we wanna go from here, we're leaning to the side, the further we go down and the further we go to the side, the more we stretch out that lat. Not a huge fan of doing the static stretch to where we go and hold this, so we're gonna go down, stretch it for a second, back up, switching sides, you saw me sort of reshuffle that club because I'm gonna to try to make it a little harder for myself. We're just working this back and forth. Again, hammering out down through that lap. Another great one we can do, and I'll go to my knees so I'm not out of the picture for you. Take this club, we've got the hand up, pushing back while we get a little lean. So now we're pushing and stretching onto that track while we're stretching out that lap. Same thing, push, hold just for a second. We can flip it and go in through there. The last one, and there's a ton of variations that we can do for this external shoulder rotation. One of them that I like helps out not only that position, but helps out pitching that elbow in. So if I get into my golf posture, have the club running down, I'm gonna get nice and close. So I'm holding with a couple of fingers, running down that forearm. I wanna make sure that I'm in golf posture, that I've got this right in the front, there's my nice big turn, feeling a stretch in that rear delt. We'll go on and fire, come down and through. And now we would all love to get to this position to where this elbow is quite a bit in front of that hip. And we can work on that position of the hand, depending on what you're working on with your path. But now I'm down and through here, nice big rotation. As long as I can brace and hold that club face off, nice simple in to out, square club face using that body, we're not trying to manipulate, helping out that external rotation. Get to work on these exercises. It's gonna put you into a much better position at the top, allow you to go, clear through the ball, making again, a much more consistent swing and hopefully some more speed for you. Check back often, we're gonna have some more great exercises coming to you. Let's get that club head speed up.